Let's talk about the weather because all of a sudden <laughs> it's like what just happened yep. here. <laughs> Your sunglasses fog up when you walk outside. That's yeah. all I hate when that happens. Yeah, we're about time. to crank up that heat and you are right. The sunglasses are going to be fogging up. We're going to be sweating. It's going to be uncomfortable and this is just the first taste of it. It's mm. just June. Yes. We got all the way through September, uh, maybe even through early October. Oh, yikes. <laughs> yikes, but we'll get through it. We always do, but this morning it was actually all about the rain. Mm -hmm. In fact, check it out. We had that big round of showers and storms. The showers and storms decided to hold together. They came all the way through the area from Houston all the way down to Galveston, and we got some decent rainfall. No one reporting several inches of rain, but most of you picked up anywhere from around a half inch to around two inches, around a half inch to an inch for most of you in Houston, but a little over two inches showing up near College Station and down around Angleton and League City between one to one and a half inches of rain. So that cloud cover and this big area of showers and storms this morning kind of helped to keep things a little bit more comfortable out there. So not quite as hot today and not quite as humid. And at least with that morning round of storms, things are quiet for us right now. In fact, we've been taken out of that risk for severe weather for the Houston area. Still a low chance for an isolated strong storm if we can get enough heating over the next few hours to develop this evening and tonight, but the chance is very low, only around a 10 to 20% chance for that. So we got to talk about a weather pattern flip flop happening over the next few days. We're going to switch to a hotter, drier pattern. So you certainly need to be careful in the heat and humidity. And we also have an ozone action day that has been issued for tomorrow. So that that means higher ozone levels. So if you do have asthma, try to limit that amount of time outside. Here is the pattern shift though. We've got a big ridge, big area of high pressure on the Texas, New Mexico border. It's going to be building in. So that's going to create a lot of sinking air. So it's going to be more difficult for these showers and storms to develop. That high will kind of block the majority of that heavy rain and strong storm action. So we are not going to have a 0% chance for rain, but it's going to be extremely low. So tomorrow, if you can get out before it gets super hot, maybe a good picnic day, late morning, maybe midday. But after that, those temperatures are going to get a little crazy on us all the way up to 95 degrees, but a nice morning with temperatures in the upper 70s around 8 a.m. and only around a 10% chance for rain. In fact, that high pressure area should keep us mainly dry through the weekend. So that's perfect for your pool plans, but then it starts to break break down Monday. So the rain chances go all the way back up to around 40%. So enjoy the drier weather, but be careful in all of that heat.